Spring is a period for renewal and rebirth, sparking a time of year referred to by animal shelters as kitty season. Cats are in heat, which causes a massive influx of large litters pouring into Albuquerque shelters. News 13's Fernanda Lopez is here to explain the problems with taking care of all these kittens. And Jessica, Animal Welfare says last year they dealt with more than 1,500 tiny stray kittens coming into their care. For many, it meant bottle feedings every couple hours. And they say they can't do it alone. It's that time of year for animal welfare. Well, kitten season, it's also called kitten mountain sometimes because as you look at your number of cats that you come in, all of a sudden it spikes into a mountain when it comes springtime. Animal Welfare Director Paul Castor says the rush of kittens streaming into their shelters when the weather gets warm has become a big problem. And that's huge because if you talk about finding people to care for 1,500 babies until they're old enough, they have to be two pounds before we can spare and neuter them. That can take months and is something that needs to happen before kittens can be adopted. So the need for volunteer foster families is huge. These little kittens come in, they can't even eat on their own, they can't regulate their body temperature. So we have some very special foster folks who can take those little guys. We're forever in. looking for volunteers. Animal Welfare says a big problem is people find and bring in kittens they think have been abandoned. They say chances are mom is just out looking for food and will be back. But if you pick them up, then we have to feed them. They say keep an eye out for mom before scooping them up. For now, the folks at Animal Welfare are bracing for this year's kitten flood. It's a little tiny bit of a crisis every day. It's like any other any other child. Uh, you know, you have a human baby, it's going to get fed every two hours when it comes home. Same thing with cats, only there's six or seven of them every two hours. It's a stressful time, they say, has gotten better over the years, but is still a big concern. Now, Animal Welfare holds classes for new foster families looking to care for their bottle babies. They say it does require a big time commitment, but you can also help by volunteering your time at the shelter or donating blankets, bottles, or formula for the kittens. Jessica? All right, thank you, Fernanda. The city's Animal Welfare Department says they're trying to get those kitten numbers down. Tomorrow, they're holding a first-come, first-serve free spay and neuter event.